This is Tony Baca, Senior Vice President of Safety at Berglund Construction Company. And this week's safety talk is on suspended scaffolds. So here we've got two gentlemen, tradesmen, bricklayers, working on a suspended board. You can see how they're wearing their harnesses and using rope grab lanyards, 100% tied off. And if you notice the suspended board, it has mesh on the back side and on the front side to catch any type of particulate to help with falling object protection down below. And then down on the streets, we have canopies for the elevations that we're working on. Uh, and then again, we have a nice canopy here through for the pedestrians in this walkway because this is a courtyard. But coming up the rooftop, we've got lifelines, we've got power cables, and they all come up and over the top of the wall. And if you notice that 90 degree angle, they're protected on that 90 degree angle from wind shear or movement on a board. And then looking at this rooftop, you can see this job is four active suspended boards. We've got our flagging up to keep us off the leading edge whereas we have enough fall protection here for the crew because the wall is over 42 inches. But all this rooftop rigging, the flange members, the counterweights, the tie backs, there's a lot that goes into rooftop rigging for suspended boards. And then this rooftop rigging needs to be checked periodically, especially after any type of a storm of sorts. So we've got our flange member, we've got our shackle on the back with an eyelid and three fist grips, and then we're tied back to this clamp on this particular wall. So that is our tie back for that system there. Whereas on the other ones, you can see the counterweights to offset the weight of the board. Suspended work is very dangerous work. As we walk these rooftops, we're looking for anything that might suggest you know, any type of a danger, keeping the guys away from the edges. Um, and it is very, very dangerous work. And it's, it's, it's something that we do. We have about 70 boards. Uh, this one here is our means of getting material down. You're looking at a beta hoist here. So a lot of our material coming up to the top of the building is via a beta hoist. Our tradesmen are tied off on the leading edge as this gentleman is right here so because our wall is not more than 39 inches tall to 42 inches. Once again, we're tied back here perpendicular to this system. Everything needs to be tied back. Everything needs to be tethered. Looking over here, you can see these gentlemen here are re-rigging as we move the boards around the building. Everyone using a suspended board and a supported scaffold in the city of Chicago has to have safety training. There is much to look at in regard to rooftop rigging, uh, even here as far as egressing material off the roof. Uh, Berglund's policy is a slip resistant ramp as we have this here on the roof and the debris. We bring it here to the beta hoist where we have a retractable. You're tied off 100% of the time as you load the bucket of the beta hoist, which in this case is rated for 1,000 pounds. So as we bring people on, such as this gentleman here in the blue hard hat, that means he's been with us for less than three months. The other yellow hard hats would um, mentor him in regard to rooftop rigging and Berglund's procedures and policies. So this week, let's talk a little bit about suspended work on our job sites. Right now we have about 40 active suspended board projects working and um, we do a weekly inspection on these, a daily in the morning if there was a storm the night before. And then we do a pre-con before the job even starts and mobilizes to talk about stuff like I'm walking on right now. Because if you look at this ramp, we've got a nice guardrail system on both sides because we have falling capabilities on both sides. So much to look at. And then additionally, even tying this into the building to keep it stable. It's got some tie-ins to the existing structure. So let's have a safe day. Let's have a safe week. Thank you.